coffee machine here at work sounds kind of like Darth Vader um, having sex with a washing machine. Just got home from work. Man, am I tired. Time for a nap. I'm actually coming up with a, a method for doing these. I'm carrying around this little green notebook with lined paper. And throughout the day, um, as I think of things to talk about, in these vlogs, I'm just jotting down notes that I'll refer to later on when I recap my day. Don't worry, um, this approach is not going to make these videos any more interesting. Oh, see, we got some DVDs I ordered in the mail. The Stupids, starring Tom Arnold. This is a birthday gift for my friend Jesse. He saw this one in theaters years ago, and he hated it. I love getting him gifts that he hates. Todd Browning's Freaks, a classic, cult classic, from the director of the 1931 version of Dracula. Amazon had it on sale, it was really cheap. The Wild Bunch, from director Sam Peckinpah. Very violent classic western, with Warren Oates, one of my favorite actors. I've also got The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Starring Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck. I liked this western. It came out in theaters, but it got very limited distribution. I saw it on DVD um, about a year and a half ago, and I really enjoyed it. I liked the musical score. And, gearing up for Halloween, purchased a VHS of Elvira's 1980s show. In this one she hosts The Wasp Woman. I think was produced by Roger Corman. It's kind of a corny classic. That should be fun. And what else? Uh, oh, it's another one hosted by Elvira. Another VHS. Um, the Silent Scream. I think this one has... Um, nope, never mind. Doesn't have anybody I know. Oh yeah, Peter Cushing and Brian Cox. Brian Cox was the first guy to play Hannibal Lecter um, in the movie Red Dragon. And Peter Cushing is another one of my favorite actors. Did lots of the uh, Hammer horror films with uh, Christopher Lee back in the 1950s and 60s and even some in the 70s. Here I am at Grandma's house. I didn't end up taking that nap earlier. Just cooking dinner. Salmon again. See? There it is. As soon as I'd gotten home from work and logged into my email, I then logged into YouTube and I saw the, um, the Serena Williams outburst at the U.S. Open video. Um, it was occupying two of the three trending video slots on the YouTube homepage, so I had a look at it, and you know, it was it was kind of funny. I mean, I think it, I think the attention it's getting is a little is a little little bit much, but. Um, I spent the time that I probably should have used napping to write, to write and uh, record and upload the um, Serena Williams outburst parody to uh, to Cottle Cochran. So hopefully everybody enjoys that. Check out Grandma's old-fashioned doorbell. Look at that. The mail slot and then this statue and then this overweight grandson. Okay, the Tigers game's over. We're just listening to the B-52s right now. Still over at Grandma's house. Grandma's got up some of her decorations already. Halloween's her favorite holiday too. I'm not sure if this guy makes any noise or not. He just gets in your way, I guess. People just forget he's there and he scares the shit out of people every now and then when they spot him out of the corner of their eyes. Here's Dave, wearing his Lyle Elzado t-shirt. What you doing, buddy? This is Lyle. He's named after Lyle Elzado and Randall Tex Cobb's character from Ernest Goes to Jail. Would you like a colossal cashew? God, these things are huge. Check out the Cheap Trick poster. That came with the, um... Budokan Concert DVD, which is a badass DVD. 
classic concert. I love Cheap Trick. I've seen them at Pine Knob four times. Now it's called DTE Energy Music Theater, but fuck that shit. Back home, I'm just listening to the radio. Dave's downstairs checking his email and Facebook and everything, so just getting caught up on the day's events um, by listening to WWJ News Radio 950. It's a pretty good AM news station. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of The Night of the Hunter here in just a moment. Um, something I forgot to mention yesterday is I caught... Um, the 1943 version, I think it was, I think it came out in 1943, the 1943 version of Phantom of the Opera starring Claude Rains. I like that one quite a bit. Not nearly as much as the 1920s um, Lon Chaney Sr. version though. Um, I think they spend too much time focusing on the musical numbers and it becomes much more of a, a musical than a um, a horror film, um, but Claude Rains is very good. Claude Rains had a magnificent voice. I liked him a lot in The Invisible Man and Casablanca and The Adventures of Robin Hood. Just about anything I've seen him in, I, I loved him in. Uh, but yeah, too much focus on the musical numbers. But um, they got to Universal Pictures got to reuse that incredible opera house set that was constructed for the Lon Chaney Senior film in that one. Um, and the Technicolor is beautiful. The costume designs are wonderful. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good movie. I give it like three stars out of four. One of the more enjoyable Universal Monsters um, movies. One of the more enjoyable, not one of the very best though. Um, let's see. What other shit should I talk about that I wrote down earlier in my little notebook. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a web comic or coming up with um, a graphic novel. Something um, where I can employ my illustration skills. I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but I'm pretty good at illustration. I've won some congressional awards for it, and I, I actually used to do it uh, professionally. Yeah, I didn't do that for very long. That, that wasn't very enjoyable. The money went quick, and I'd always end up regretting having sold the artwork. Um, I always wanted to just keep it. Um, even if I wasn't going to display it, I just would have preferred to have preserved it in a folder somewhere and just held on to it to show to people later on, or, or just look at myself and just uh, remember, remember that project and maybe even that period of my life. So... But yeah, I've been wanting to do something involving um, my artwork again. Until I started this second channel, I, I really wasn't getting much enjoyment from doing the whole YouTube thing any longer. Um, my audience over on the Connell Cochran channel had expanded to such a size that I felt just overwhelming pressure to keep the quality consistent. So a lot of times when a, an idea would pop up in my head and i think about um, fleshing it out and coming up with a, a video, um, I, I just wouldn't because I, I had too much doubt and uh, you know that, that pressure just it, it felt very very constrictive and I wanted to upload more videos and, and that's what I'm doing with this channel now. Um, I'll keep uploading funny shit as it occurs to me over on Connell Cochran, but for right now I'm having a lot of fun just just recording the day's events or any thoughts that I, uh, I want to share with you all. And thanks for subscribing. Um, I'm flattered you guys give enough of a shit about my personal life to uh, keep up with it on this channel. I don't know what I'll do just yet, but I want to do something that involves some um, illustration. Whenever I figure that out, I'll, I'll let you all know. <sighs> I have some really, really weird shit in this room. Another uh, YouTuber that I've kept up with for a very, very long time, Kaylee Kill, did a pretty good video. I think it was entitled... Uh, 
51 things in my room. I might do a video response to that video and show you guys all of the weird crap I've accumulated and stored in this room over the years. You know, I didn't get um, Jesse all shitty gifts for his birthday. I also got him a Kenny Powers talking bobblehead from the HBO store and it swears and everything. It's really funny. It looks just like him too. That's Dave's tobacco. I don't smoke. There's a typed signed letter by Donald Pleasance, the guy who played Dr. Loomis in the Halloween movies, among many, many, many other roles. He's one of my favorite actors. And that's one dirty ass wall. So how did your evening go? I want to know. Not being sarcastic, I really do want to know. Seriously, I am so grateful to all of you for for watching the stuff that I upload to this channel. Having this channel is very important to me. I love you. No, wait, I want to say it like the, uh, the driller killer from Slumber Party Massacre. I love you.